Hello. Okay. Let me fix the camera. Beep. Yes. It's just a little nudge. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna reduce this. This was for the thumbnail. This was supposed to be silly. Oh no. Wait. Wait. The setup. Wait. Can you hear me from like all the way over there? What if I just don't hold the microphone? That honestly be kind of better, wouldn't it? Can you hear me? I don't know. What's up, girl? What's up, dude? What's up, Adam? How are you doing? I need to cut my bangs. You know what? What if I'm just emo for a bit? It's all good. It's over. I'm scared. I'm scared to cut my bangs. They're gonna turn out... What if they turn out wonky? God, what... What trivial things to be worried about. Isn't this nice? I love being human sometimes, and I love worrying about silly things. <laughs> Wait, I wanna hold... Here. No! Go back! Oh my goodness, you're gonna see my dirty room. It's actually not that bad. There. There's like a plush on my bed. And then a notebook. And then my mouse is strangely on the bed as well. Oh, still feeling the effects of beauty standards. I mean, what do you mean by that? What effects? Like, needing to conform. I don't think that's something that you feel 24-7. It's just something that you kind of know. Something that you come to accept. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's over. Oh my goodness. What if I just... Oh my god. I'm gonna read the comments over here. I can't do this. Why is the camera turning automatic? Look, look, look. It is a mixture of Hero Brine and Gravity and wires. Wait, can you guys hear me? Because my mic's all the way over here. Like I could do ASMR too. Maybe that maybe that caused a bit of a bit bad oh no. You just finished watching Bullet Train in the Discord? Oh my goodness. I kind of... <sighs> Damn. That's... I, I don't know. I've actually... I actually have never heard of that movie. I'm not going to lie to you. Isn't Bullet Train the thing in... Mike is not muted. We can? Okay. Uh... Um... If I just put it like this, like, dun, 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 dun. You have a good night, too. <laughs> oh, is my <laughs> Maximus is telepathically moving the camera because he's trying to sabotage us all. I'm going to lay this coffee mug I mean, this is not a, uh, this tea mug on Maximus's head for a second. You can hear me wherever it is. I love this mic. That's amazing. Maximus, hold the mic. Please. Please. It's not happening. Wait, I forgot. There's no music. Let me, what do you guys want, want to hear? <laughs> do you know what kind of keyboard you have is called? Uh, I don't have a keyboard. I have a laptop. So, the lap, the keyboard that came with the laptop. Um, but I have a, a Samsung Galaxy Book Mini three and one something 16 gigabytes of ram i7 processor it's a good laptop i got it on black friday last year a year ago i've had my laptop for a year and i didn't even celebrate its birthday <sighs> 
Is that mic an Elegato? It is. It's the Elegato Wave 3. Jazz. Beauty standards. Oh, yeah. I recorded that two days ago, so I'm, I'm kind of not thinking about it anymore. But I guess that's how it is, isn't it? I mentioned that at the end, how it's like people would just kind of accept it. Maybe I'm part of that problem. Oh, God. No. Oh, jazz? <gasps> jazz? Okay, let's do jazz. I'm not wearing my Invisalign. My teeth are gonna hurt. I forgot. I, I simply forbore. Let's see. No copyright jazz. Uh, you know how I said I would apply for monetization at, like, 5k? Um, I've been putting it off. I don't know why. But I haven't even applied to do that yet. Uh, I don't think you can hear this. I just looked a little bit silly for a second. Hold on. Let me turn this on. There. Tell me if it's too loud as well. Okay. Do you like jazz? No, no, no. I gotta do it with the microphone, too. Do you like jazz? <laughs> no, I cannot. I cannot say that seriously, because then I know it would be clipped, and then I know it would be sent around in the Discord forever. You like jazz? Like... <laughs> oh, God. Cal literally kept you awake. You kept yourself awake. We were debating for, like... An hour. <gasps> there was a point where I was just like, I'm done. I can't. I can't anymore. My camera quality is crisp. Finally. I've never had this good camera quality. It was such a meme for the longest time. Like, you know what? This this channel's just gonna have bad camera quality forever. Look at me now. Look at me now. <laughs> Bro, I won. What? You won the debate, Caffeine Cow? I don't know. <laughs> the... hmm. You couldn't find your retainer for a few months and my teeth reverted back to its old state. <gasps> no, that's horrible. I'm so scared of that happening to me. It's only been a few hours. I'm scared. I'm just like trying to keep my teeth straight with my tongue. I'm like pushing it. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works at all. <laughs> Momo said you won though. I don't know. I feel like that's just, <sighs> we're not talking about this debate, dude. Cause then it's gonna get tied into other politics and then people are gonna assume what I believe. I came back when I woke up and you two were still debating. Exactly. Like, I literally went to sleep for eight whole hours. I woke up in the morning, checked the Discord. They're still talking about it. I'm like, oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. <laughs> NBA playoff check. NBA playoff check came through. Nice camera. Guys, I've had this camera since like the beginning of my channel. It's just that recently I've been doing this thing where I put lighting with my phone. It, you see? Bad quality. Quality sucks. Quality good. You see? My mom had this camera, that's why. Well, the car vids are obviously my phone, but like the sit down videos, I've basically always used this camera. I just didn't have good quality lighting. <laughs> I'm a poo poo head? No. Don't look. Oh my goodness. Winning is a joke. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It is all lighting. 
That's all everything is. Okay, this piano is going hard, actually. Oh, it's objectively sharper at the ankle. Oh! You know what? That makes sense. Yeah. This is such... This is a way more professional angle. Because I used to put the camera on my bed. On top of, like, a bunch of books. But now it's on my desk on top of a bunch of books. <laughs> so it's, like, improvement? Question mark? I can't believe I just said question mark. Oh god, I roll my eyes at myself sometimes. <laughs> do not do that, please. What? Oh my goodness, please, no. Do not keep debating. Like, it's just... It's over. <sighs> oh my goodness. Hi, Mr. Mr. Knight. I'm gonna call you Mr. Knight. I bet you're sweet too. <laughs> Thank you. No, you didn't win Del Taco. No. <laughs> Look, enough fighting, enough debating. Let's chill it, let's chill. We're all family here. We're all family in this community and I just want everybody to be happy. Like, please, please, Del Taco, enough, enough. Okay. Can we live stream with you right now? I don't know if right now, because I'm using the software. So. Uh, what if like tomorrow? I don't know. Tomorrow's tough. What if, like, Saturday? What day is it? It's Wednesday, right? Yeah, okay. I think, like, Saturday. I don't know. Unless we do it short, then, like, any day is fine. We could just do it tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. So how do you incorporate spirituality in your pursuits of self-actualization? Thank you for inspiring me to get back into monk mode after a one year hiatus. So I'm not as spiritual as people I think assume I am. All I do is meditation. Let me lower the music really quickly because this is really distracting for me. There. And then I'll hire it for you. There. Okay. Um, all I do is meditation. And what I believe is that the universe just has a plan for me. I put my whole trust into the universe and I just, I wholeheartedly believe in that, honestly. Uh, I don't necessarily pray to the universe, but I do, I guess I do talk to the universe in my meditations. That's just about it. That's all I do for spirituality. Yeah, I just, I just meditate, but yeah. <laughs> it's a one day that voice was Trisha Paytas with Alamo oh my goodness <gasps> my mic almost fell again yesterday my mic fell because I stood on my chair or something I don't know what was going on <laughs> Mr. Knight is right okay Saturday's better? Okay, Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. One time my aunt told my niece to... Oh! Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm assuming she's like seven or something, really young. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think that's more mindfulness, not quite spiritual. That's the only thing I do in, that might be close to spiritual. I was raised I was raised Christian and obviously I'm not anymore but sadly I've never really been big on religion or spirituality in general but I speak my truth that's what I do you know sometimes I'm like holding Maximus and I think 
I'm almost 17. Like, don't you think, don't you think it's time to grow up? I almost said my real name. Don't you think it's almost time to grow up, B? Like, you still have stuffed animals? There's, there's an Animal Crossing plushie in my vicinity. There's way more as well, actually. But it's like, no, I like what, I like my plushies. I, I love Maximus. I don't know. Like, I feel too... No. Having plushies is not a sign of maturity. Not having plushies is not a sign of maturity. I could do what I want. <laughs> okay. Why did you answer that with so much light skin face? I don't even know what that means, dude. <laughs> I don't know. What you know about bees? Um, what's like the beginning line of the bee movie? There's something about how like they can't fly. Bees should not be able to fly for their wings are not capable. That's all I know about bees. <laughs> you see, I was originally gonna go against like the whole bee branding thing the whole B theme. But here we are. I love it. I actually do really like it though. Cause like everything's orange on my channel and then like this is orange and then like the banner, then the study with me is like, oh, it's so beautiful. So I like it. That's why originally I had like a Husky as my logo. Cause like I love Huskies and I was gonna go away like from B's corner. Cause I was like, B is my name, not the animal. <laughs> but no, I love I love the little theme now. It's so cute. <laughs> In fact, get a bee stuffed animal. Oh well let me tell you, good sir. Here. This is little B Beatrice. So if anyone ever says Beatrice, this is who they're referring to. Haha, <laughs> no more propaganda. This is Beatrice. I am not Beatrice. I am B. <laughs> the whole point of adulthood is to rekindle the childhood taken from you. Well then, you know what? I'm gonna have plushies my whole life. You can't stop me. <laughs> I love that. Being a kid at heart is absolutely fine, thank god. Cause sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm only 17. But it's like 17's kind of, kind of old, like, not old, but just like, I feel like I should have had way more milestones than I do have at this point. I don't know, Never mind. <sighs> Bees die when they sting. That is something I knew from the bee movie. <laughs> You're good. I'm just about 17 and I just got stuffed home. And I... All right. Good to know. B, when you work your job and put, pay your bills, you're going to live however the frick you want. I believe that 100%. That's true. I'm going to get all of the plushies in the world all of them and nobody's gonna stop me <laughs> i wonder if i'll like ever like grow out of it probably i don't know i don't know every time i see a plushie at a store i'm like i want it maybe it's like ingrained within me <laughs> don't listen I don't ever plan on growing up. You know what? I don't plan on it either. <laughs> I almost said my real name five seconds later. I'm not Beatrice. Oh, because I'm not Beatrice. I will dox myself. 
I don't know why. I just, it, it, I'm just not Beatrice. Saying Beatrice three, three times at three a.m. gone wrong. Oh my goodness. You must pronounce Beatrice three times at the peak of any mountain. She'll then manifest in front of you and yap some life advice. Ah yes. What, what yappery would you like today for some life advice? You know, I want to make a video on social media. But God, there's so much about social media. Like, I don't know what, I don't know what I would cover. Cause I also don't want to make like an hour long video essay, which I could easily do with social media. Maybe I could like make it a series. Like I'll cut it up like six parts, 10 minutes each. God, there's, nah, it's gonna be forever. That social media series is gonna go on forever. 20 parts. Season 7, episode 14, like, it's, it, it, there's so much to talk about. <laughs> no way, yes, you're getting to participate. Hi, Zuzu, how you doing? 17 is young, 17 is young, I'm aware of that. Oh, is Des K2? I didn't actually make that connection. Hmm. Social media de debate between cow and taco. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Wait, does talk? No, never mind. I don't want to. <sighs> I just don't. What? Oh my goodness! Enough! 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 Yes, go get comfortable and munch on popcorn. I have my tea with honey. I'm not hating on you. I was just like, I don't know what you think about social media, but now I do know because I guess you and you and Cal agree on it. <laughs> I do not hate Del Taco. I'm just sipping my tea, okay? I'm literally sipping tea. I'm just read the chat. All right, enough infighting. We are all in the same cult. I mean group, I, I mean group. Oh no. <sighs> What have I said? What have I said? Nothing. I do not hate Taco enough. Oh my goodness. Real lore? For what? Why would I hate you? Maximus giving off racist old man vibes. Why? He's a young dapper man. Not... She just said it. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I love how delayed the chat is. <laughs> Maximus is not racist. Oh my goodness. What is this? <laughs> what? Call it confirmed. Enough. Enough. Welcome to the internet. Everybody loves debates and cults. You might be onto something, Mark. I like your name. It reminds me of Markiplier. And Markiplier reminds me of good times. Maximus is an old soul. Beatrice feeds off the wisdom of the doggo to sprout some truth and advice. Absolutely. Like, everything that I say comes from Maximus. It's telepathically ingrained into my brain. Every week or so, I have to just sit like this for an hour. Just exactly like that. And he feeds me all of the knowledge that I need in my life. No, 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 stop it, stop it. Oh my goodness, I'm not racist. I'm not racist, bro. Maximus and me are not racist. 
You see? <laughs> Racist by association is crazy. What do we- what do you study? Well... Well, that's an interesting question. Computer science, basically. To not get into it, computer science. <laughs> oh, my niece just called me a bleep in a nice, kinder, much gentler way. That's why she called me a poo poo head, because I'm her favorite uncle. <laughs> That's so awesome. Oh my goodness. He's the type of cereal. Oh no, 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 no. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's the type of cereal. Can I say that on- wait, I can say anything on YouTube. I'm not monetized. <laughs> Be's the type of serial killing cult leader that would actually murder a bowl of cereal. Exactly. I wake up in the morning, I get that cereal. Bam, bam, bam. Nom, nom, nom. That's just it. I am Lat Latina. Yep. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm not Asian. I'm just not. I have like no Asian features, I think. Maybe the. Arguably the black hair, but that's fake. Like, this is dyed. Can you see my roots? No, you can't. <laughs> Root reveal? That's so awkward. What am I doing? I don't know. She doesn't like that part of her heritage. Taco is yapping. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Taco. Del Taco. People are gonna think like you're not joking. Oh my goodness. Uh, no. Black hair equals Asian? Not necessarily. It's just like arguably. Maybe. But not, not really. <laughs> uh... Is Beatrice a natural blonde? No, 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 no. I'm a brunette. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you pictures. In the bad lighting. Just kidding. Never mind. <sighs> but yeah, root reveal. Yeah, I had really, I had really nice natural hair. It was a mental thing, like dyeing it. I was like, I'm gonna reinvent myself. I need to dye my hair to do that, to facilitate that. Guys, I need to cut my bangs, like, right now. What if I just do it on stream? Any hairdressers in the chat to help? Oh my goodness. I just need to cut this part, because this part needs to be shorter so that the curtain bangs can actually curtain. And not look square. Hmm. Face reveal at 20k subs. I don't know. I think I'm gonna need 200k for that. Face reveal? That's a lot of personal information. I don't want to really reveal. <laughs> I used to play an old video game about a bee. Aww. What was it about? I've only dyed my hair with white streaks. That was two years ago, and it went away. Oh, you know what I was thinking? Like, I, I, don't, I don't know yet, but I would like dye my the tips of my hair white. Hmm. Love the bangs in the eyes. <laughs> yeah. Me too, bro. Me too. <laughs> Is this deep fake AI? Of who? Like, who would be deep faked on me? Who do I look like? <laughs> Pretty realistic. <laughs> Pretty realistic is crazy. <laughs> you can still do curtain bangs. It comes more from how you style your hair. Maybe, maybe that's true. It's cause I got this treatment on my hair, right? And it made it so much more healthy. healthy. That heat styling it became so hard. Because when your hair is dyed, 
it gets a bit unhealthier, but it gets way easier to heat style. So now it's like, it didn't work. I don't know. You're actually an AI designed by Beatrice to yap. Okay, don't talk about this. Back, Buck Bumble on Nintendo 64. I haven't played it since the early 2000s. That's so that's so wholesome. You don't need to heat style. You could just use styling cream or leave-in conditioner. Y'all don't know. I have really curly hair. Like, my hair would not look like this if I didn't heat style it. Natural hair reveal tomorrow, perhaps. I don't have leave-in conditioner, though. Uh, I don't know. Um, 16? Almost 17. Bah. Yeah. No, no, no. Our hair is very different. Bum, bum, bum. I don't straighten it every day. This is with a blow dryer. This is so silly. This is such a silly conversation. Real question. How do you feel about lucid dreaming? <laughs> Alright. Birth year 2007, actually. Oh my goodness, the question, lucid dreaming. I've done it once or twice in my life, maybe three times. It depends on what you count. Cause there have definitely been times where I've realized I was dreaming and I just stayed in the dream to just see what happens. So I don't know if you would call that lucid dreaming, but there was a time where I was lucid in my dream. And I was like, you know what? I'm a do stuff. I'm a go somewhere. And I flew around and I went to a, like a carnival because I was in like seventh grade and I I, I I was wholesome. I still am wholesome. So yeah, I went to a carnival and then I went to get Chipotle. <laughs> that was the best thing I could think of, like just getting Chipotle. I was like, I wonder if I could actually taste the Chipotle in a lucid dream. And I could. It was so amazing. But what was the question? Oh my goodness. I think lucid dreaming is cool. I think a lot of people say like, oh, it's spirit. It has something to do with like dimensions. I don't really know. I believe the subconscious mind is a really powerful thing. If it is with, if it does deal with dimensions, then like, cool. By the way, I'd, I'd probably still continue doing it. <laughs> Chipotle is so good. I got some like two days ago. But yeah, our hair is exactly the same then. You can just use things to hold your hair in place to create curtain bangs. No, my hair doesn't do curtain bangs at all naturally. Like, it'll be like... Look, look, look. Hold on. It'll be like... How can I? How can I illustrate this? It'll be like this. Oh my goodness. No. Curlier. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I have a mustache. Hello. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. Do I smoke? No. Uh-uh. Dreaming of Chipotle. Oh my god. Uh. Lisa dreaming Chipotle. I've been trying to do their burrito bowl myself. Dude, me too. I tried making the rice. It was alright. I don't think it was Chip like Chipotle rice. You should try Chipotle Del Taco. <laughs> what if humans unlocked 100% of their brain power? 
We eat Chipotle in a lucid dream. Hell yeah. I've been starting to say like hell. Originally I was on YouTube. I was like, I'm never going to swear. I don't even swear much in real life, depending on the people I'm around. But I don't know if I should say hell. I kind of don't like it. Guys, Chipotle is not good for you. It has seed oils. Lock in. <laughs> I eat so much seed oils. I don't know. I'm not the healthiest person in the world. I just kind of eat and I like my life. I hit my protein goals. And I live. And I bulk. I live near Chipotle and I make walks there at least once a week oh my goodness that must be so much money you're spending <laughs> oh god i wish well i could probably i could do that but i'd feel like oh, the money i don't know i was asking because if you get you plus a high link Ain't no way. NyQuil? Like, NyQuil, right? Not ZQuil. Wait, is ZQuil a thing? You see, I'm so uninformed on every type of drug. Even just regular ones. Not regular ones. Oh my goodness. Even medical ones. Oh, like, like, oh, okay. It's basically NyQuil, no? Anyway. Plus apple juice. That's like a fun little social experiment to try. I don't know, but I'm just silly. Like, have you guys heard of the... The Chapters? Oh. That one soundtrack that's supposed to make you feel like you have Alzheimer's. Let me type that into Google. Soundtrack that makes you feel like you have Alzheimer's. Everywhere at the end of time. Yeah, I tried that because I was like, cool social experiment. It's not even a social experiment. Cool psychological experiment. It didn't work. I listened to the whole six hours. And I was like, the Alzheimer's isn't here. I've heard so many, I heard so many horror stories of that soundtrack. Like, oh, I thought I had Alzheimer's. Then it didn't work. It's And then I just blamed myself. Because I was like, you know what? I just didn't have the mentality to get the Alzheimer's. That's so weird. The internet is corrupting me. Oh, no. Don't curse. Okay, I don't want to curse. I'm not going to say that anymore. <sighs> it's $11 once a week. Not if you get guacamole. Then it's like 13. Then I love and I love guacamole, so be avoiding the feds. The feds aren't looking for me. They don't care. <laughs> They're just like, "Why is she Hugging a, a dog plush in her room. Chipotle is addicting. I wouldn't say addicting. I just say it's like really good. Hmm. Six hours is crazy. Yes, six hours. <laughs> Did you think that was going to come down? <laughs> yes, I thought I was just going to like have symptoms of Alzheimer's and then I didn't. <laughs> I was young, okay. It was like ninth grade. <laughs> That's not that young. Well, it's young, but. <laughs> Sounds kind of like binaural beats never work for me. Oh, and the thing with all of that, it's like, if it doesn't work for you, then it, you're you're the you're at fault. Like, it has no. You can't critique it. It cannot be critiqued because if it doesn't work for you, then it's your fault. 
And you know what else is like that? The traditional four-year college path, my friends. The traditional four-year college path didn't work for you? Must be your fault. I think that's so wrong to say. But I digress. We have to educate people more on other options besides the four-year college path man i didn't i don't think i even knew what trade school was till like freshman year four years in college is crazy just saying oh a lot of people do it it's, i wouldn't call it crazy it's like an option it's just true I'm gonna live life like Todd from Bojack. Dude, what if I'm Bojack and you're Todd? You can live in my mansion on the couch. Let's go. <laughs> can you be like a babysitter like if I really need you to be? Come on, Caffeine Cow, we're like making, we're making this agreement right now on stream. Will you live in, on my couch in my future mansion and be a babysitter? when I need you to be. Like, be a babysitter on the date nights, like, you know, you know what's up. <laughs> Del Taco did 12 years of call. No, he didn't. What do you mean? No. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yes, I recommended the eight-year college pathway. I recommend the eight-year college pathway. I'm glad we share this opinion. That's a lot of college. Eight years. Whoa. You know what? Some people. It works for some people, though. Like, I don't want to bash anybody at all. And some people genuinely need that for their careers. If they're very passionate about something specific that needs a lot of schooling, then 100% get your PhD. I'm just a very action-oriented person, and I think that's starting to really affect me. Because I'm like, I don't want to learn anymore. I just want to... I don't want to learn anymore. I want to apply. I want to do something now. I want to make money now. So that's that. <laughs> Online platforms help. I, Coursera, I was on Coursera. Oh. I really respect that, Mark. Takes initiative to do that, in my opinion. I need to cut my bangs right now. Cause look, curtain bangs look better if they're if they start right here but how are they gonna start right there if they're that long so i need to cut it okay i i digress i digress it's kind of late uh when did you start programming freshman year summer i was self-taught up until fall semester last year up until fall semester like like literally 2023 i took my first college class in programming it was all right it was stuff i already knew but that was like to be expected because i was self-taught before the bangs on stream our hair is like exactly the same no it's not i've seen your hair del taco like it's not the same you don't know look 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 look, look. i don't know what i'm saying this isn't even my natural natural hair look look my hair is like hella frizzy 
Like hella. I don't know. I need my curtain bangs. It's over. It's over for me. No, no. Wait, what, what happened? My best friend is doing 12 years for college. Valid. 10 to 12 years. Okay, that sounds insane to me, but like valid for your friend. That's like doctor level. He wants to be a doctor, huh? Because that's like you need your PhD and then you go into residency. <sighs> Crazy. Yeah, if you want to become a doctor, then go for it. When I walk around, I see how many. How. When I walk around, I see how many people are acting as if this is all normal. That's what happens when you don't chase your dreams. You could just tell by looking at facial expressions. Could you elaborate on that? Because that's like a really interesting idea, I think. I just... I don't get what you mean when you say, like, looking at facial expressions. How? Like, what do the facial expressions tell you? Not necessarily what are the facial expressions, but what do they tell you? Art. Learn to apply and apply to learn. Learn to apply and apply to learn. Very wise. Be Hispanic, yes. W gaslighting. Is Taco Man a girl? No. No. Yeah, this is not my OG hair. This is, this is like dyed hair. <laughs> you think you almost got scammed? How'd you get scammed? No. I'm not Asian. <laughs> Del Taco, people are gonna think like you're being for real. Like they don't know, they don't know the inside jokes. Pathologist, that's what she's doing. Oh. Wow. That's actually, wow. That's actually really respectable. Like, dang. It's just that some of my friends, like, they want to, like, they're just going to college just to go to college. Like, one of my friends, she wants to, she wants to be a journalist. And I just feel like you don't really don't need to go to college if you want to be a journalist you know what i mean like you could get a job as a journalist like when you turn 18 if you just practice writing enough in high school try to gain connections in high school so it's like feels like that i'm just like why are you going to college though you kind of don't need that and sure it's like you could argue it's good to have a degree no matter what but is that really the best option like is putting yourself in a bunch of that really the best option? I don't know. That's just my opinion. Huh. Should I take my braids out? Take your braids out. It's it's, it's wavy hair time. <sighs> B has very thick. I do, and this is it's straight. Like naturally, it's just like it's. Oh. My my camera died. I'ma just here. Ah We're back to the bad camera quality that I love at heart. Let's see. Let's unplug this camera. Wait. Oh, I'm getting confused. Jump scare? Oh my goodness. The facial expressions signify if somebody followed their gut instinct throughout life or not. A facial expression is indicative of an accumulation of everything. 
You know, I do believe that some people do have that gift to really read facial expressions well, but sadly, I don't think I have that gift. Reading facial expressions, I don't think I could, like, gather that much information from somebody just because of their facial expression. But I do think, like, I feel like that can exist. Whether or not they follow their gut instinct. But just, like, how do you factor in so many different types of people? Like, what if one facial expression that somebody has is indicated of, indicative of that, and then for another person, it's just a completely different thing? Hmm. Yeah, I have a lot of respect for her, too. I also meditate, too. I just totally zone out to the sound of a heater or fan. I like to do that, too, sometimes. Especially when there's wind outside. I've live-streamed when there's wind outside. What my door does is just... I don't know what it is. It just, like... It makes weird noises. It makes ghost noises, as they call them. So it's like, I just listen to that. <laughs> Oh my goodness, we cannot talk about politics. Enough, Del Taco. <laughs> but oftentimes, if you want to get to a certain position, a degree does help. 100%. That's why I said, I think it really depends on your field. But I think experience is also just drastically underrated. Dude, I'm not talking about that. I can't. <laughs> uh, I can read a lot from people just by looking at them or watching them talk, and I still wouldn't go that far. Sometimes, though, I see what you're saying. It can be easy to tell. I feel like, yeah, for some people, it is easy to tell. Because for some people, it's easy to tell that they're a people pleaser, and therefore, they're also a society pleaser. So they just do whatever society tells them to do. <laughs> I wouldn't say that's the way it is most of the time. Do you think your environment might be leading to why this might be the case? Let me scroll up. Oh, I don't know. Do I ever get mad? The last time I got mad was two years ago. And I remember it vividly. It was a horrible experience. But I don't regret it. I don't regret getting mad. It was just so... So emotion-filled. Now, I do feel mad. A lot. I do feel like it's, it's my strongest emotion. Because I heard that question recently, like, well, what do you think your strongest emotion is? I think anger, anger and perhaps ambition is my strongest emotion. But I never show that anger, ever. I always calm myself down. I always remain as stoic as possible. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, did the music stop? Yes, it did. It stopped so long ago. <sighs> oh, God. I think I misused facial ex expression. What I meant is you have to account for everything with your five senses in order to understand the aura of someone and what, and what intentions are within aura. That's true. I probably shouldn't have focused so much on the word facial expression either way, though. I get what you mean, 100%. Because like I said, you could kind of tell when somebody's a people pleaser and therefore a society pleaser. Hmm. Be anger arc. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Anger's scary to me. It's just scary. Hmm. 
I get that, but do you think the people you are seeing reflect the world in general or is more so due to the environment you're seeing them in? Also, like, how does environment play into all that? No, but I feel like the person is the most important thing, not necessarily the environment. I don't know. I suffer the outcome of a painful leg day. <laughs> Real. What am I studying? Technically computer science. Tell us about your favorite school subject. What do you plan to do with it? What are your college plans? Well, my favorite school subject is math. I've always liked the linearity of it. Like the practicalness of it. It's so simple. Like just two, two, two steps. Uh, I'm, I, I said I'm basically, to not get into it, I'm, I'm majoring in computer science. And if I do go to college, that's what I would do. <sighs> well, yeah. Wrong thing? What? What's my favorite color? That's a good question. Nobody's asked me that in so long. Like, uh, I used to say I like dark green, like sage green. God, I don't know. I don't know. I like the colors. <laughs> like, I just think colors are just there. I like sage green because nature, I think. So that's my answer. Ambition for the future and anger at the present can be a very thin line. It would be wise to practice walking that tightrope mentally and emotionally. God, sometimes I don't know if I don't know if this is something particular to me. But I can feel ambition. Like I can feel it in my heart. Like working just like like I feel it I feel that sinking feeling that you sometimes feel when you're heartbroken but it's more like a burning like rage almost I feel that passion like oh my goodness it's such it's my favorite emotion I love it I was feeling it today I was like I don't know I was really working today that's why I didn't live stream because sometimes when I'm like really in the zone I'll just like I'll not live stream. And I like working on my bed, actually. Anger is a good emotion. I don't think emotions are good or bad. It's just anger is scary to me. I can't lie. Hmm. Yeah. I feel that when I want something so bad. Yes. God, yes. And you know what? I do sometimes feel like something is meant for me. Like something's meant for me. Not like I, de I deserve it. But something's meant for me. Because there's a distinct feeling between ambition and nervousness. I think if I'm nervous to work for something... If I'm nervous and just very unsure about something, I know within myself, like, what if this, what if this doesn't work out? Like, for example, I've only felt this once in my life. To not be vague, for example, I wanted to move to a school in Austin my sophomore year. Oh my goodness. Fuck. So, oh my
I just realized my mic was muted. I don't know how long it was muted. <gasps> Bro. Oh my goodness. Okay, anyway. That school was very academically... Academically, like, focused. And at the time, I was like, I'm going to do this, this, get into this school, and then I will live my life. Like, I don't know, I was very career-focused at the time. Like, oh, I'm going to give my life to my career. And then I just had a complete change of heart once the idea of children were introduced to me. <laughs> it sounds so silly, but it's like, I was such a logical little child that I was just like, children, never. That's not the case, come on. Like, I have a heart. I do have a heart. Just taking the jazz music. I'm not muted anymore, okay. But yeah. What was I saying? The school. When I was trying to research that school, I didn't feel ambitious. I felt nervous. And I just rationalized it as like, you know what? This is going to be a big change in my life if I do end up going to this school. It was like this really elite school. Uh, it was a high school, but it was very elite and had a very accelerated program. But... I just didn't feel like it was right for me within myself. It, it was very nerve wracking and I don't really get nervous. I don't really have anxiety very often. So when I do, it's like I pay attention to that a hundred percent. Cause sometimes I feel like anxiety, gut feelings, they, they mean something and you should pay attention to them. What music do I listen to the most? Probably, probably indie, but I also just like classical and video game music, like OSTs. Uh, I wasn't thinking of going there, no. <sighs> uh, I was, I'm thinking of going nowhere. I'm not gonna lie to you. I kind of just don't mention that because people will be like, why? Like, why don't, why don't you want to go to college? Like, why don't you want to do this? I have a plan outside of it. The plan is in session. The plan is ongoing. And if the plan does not work by the end of this year, then I'll start considering college. W parasocial relationship enjoyers. <laughs> I wouldn't call this parasocial though, because I genuinely like talk to you guys in the Discord. So it's like it's not parasocial. This just is a relationship, I think. I do take a bunch of AP courses. I'm I'm a little bit insane. JK guys. B's favorite movie, Wally. One hundred percent. Sensei. I think that's sarcasm, but <laughs> then why are you studying? I'm not studying. I'm working on my business. Yeah. I say like study with me because like that's that's like what everybody does on YouTube, you know what I mean? It's like, study with me. But I'm not studying. I'm just... Fulfilling client orders. I'll talk about more, like... I'll talk about it more probably in a whole video. Like, what do I actually do? 
Basically, I do digital marketing. I took 12 APs, but did really bad in them. Oh, no, I don't do bad in my APs. I got fours on the two AP tests I did. And then I'm taking AP physics right now. I'm going to do well on that test. I already know. Like, okay, that sounds really, like, egotistical, but God, I'm good at physics. I love it. Yeah. What video games do I like? Story games. Undertale. Um, Wamori. But I also dabbled in Warzone and Overwatch. I had addictions to those two games, so that was that. But I don't play them anymore. <laughs> Somebody DM me, they were like, oh, tell me, tell me when you want to hop on Overwatch. I'm like, <laughs> uh, my PS4 is like in my closet, not to be found. <laughs> yeah, I started to change my focus towards business and not school. So that's just how it is. But yeah, I think I'll end this in 10 minutes, by the way, so that I can go to sleep at a nice time. I am 16, almost 17. Everyone's doing the study with me thing. Uh, maybe you're just getting it recommended more, but it's always been around. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know if you've heard of James Scholes. I really take inspiration from him. I, although I haven't really seen most of his videos, I wasn't really a big fan of him. But he does like study with me. He's like, I'm talking 8 to 12 hours study with me. 6 to 12 hours study with me. Guy is insane. Actually, I would probably do that if I didn't have school. He was like a college student. But I quite like his... The one video I saw of him, his view on life. It was just really wholesome, I think. Please get... Please get a strong foundation and system for your business before revealing online. Even 1% of your subscriber base could mean 120 clients at once. That's exactly why I'm not talking about it right now. Because it's like, I don't think I could handle that at that moment. You know what I mean? So it's like, although I don't think like even 1% of my audience would be interested. Cause it's a, it's a serv it's a B to B, it's business to business model type stuff. It's, although, my my, I feel like my audience does seem like business owners. I feel like a lot of you guys are entrepreneurs and things like that. She literally, oh my goodness. Damn, got your own business in high school. Yeah, dude. I've, I've always just... I've always done things earlier. I don't know. I just like life to go like... Choo -choo 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 all the time. What a great visual. <laughs> choo -choo -choo. Basically, one day she realized Warzone and Overwatch were just an addiction, taking control of her time, like TikTok. I was, okay, TikTok, I got off of that like two years ago. I knew TikTok was bad for a long time. TikTok. Me and TikTok in a fight, like, oh my goodness. And I always get told, I always get told by this one friend, this one acquaintance, really. Like, why don't you have, why don't you have TikTok? Cause me and TikTok are fighting. I am throwing hands with TikTok. Oh my god! Bam, bam! Like TikTok, take it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, grown, grown bleep sixteen year old. Uh, how much should I swear? I don't want to swear. I don't want to. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. You spam his 10 hour pomos. Jan, you are killing it. I 
like to play RPGs, yeah. Do you like your job with digital marketing? I never question if I like to do something. Like, I just do it. I don't know why people... Okay. This is definitely, like, the unemotional side of me coming out. But sometimes I just do things to do things. Like, I just do it for practicality. Like... I, I remember I got asked, like, oh, do you like going to the gym? Like, oh, yeah, I do. Like, I didn't realize it before. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I do actually like going to the gym. Because, like, you know, it helps me mentally. And I like the results. And it's like, oh, yeah, I do. Like, I don't really ask myself that question. Like, do I like to do this? I don't really ponder that at all. I just, like, do stuff. I don't know. <laughs> That's just kind of weird. I feel like it's weird to b to b oh i got distracted uh what is your ethnic background that's such a fancy way to say it um lists i'm hispanic basically okay mm, guatemala how old are you i'm 16 almost 17 oh my goodness del taco del taco she's gonna believe you people are genuinely asking I do a lot of freelance work. I used to be very active on Upwork. Upwork is like a really good place to find people, honestly. But I feel like they underpay on Upwork. I don't know. Some people do. I'm sure some people don't. <sighs> okay. I stopped after they seemed to know too much about me college myself what what happened huh like tiktok yeah i'm gonna assume typical entj honestly oh god i could i could go on about mbti for hours but i tried unhooking myself from that addiction long ago it did become unhealthy to a point where i got too obsessed with mbti and meyer briggs and enneagram at that <laughs> it was so limiting to me like uh, that's called being human bro <laughs> do you think you've stopped pondering because you wanted to just start applying therefore you let your subconscious do the work what do you mean wait do you think you've stopped pondering because you wanted to just start applying that's true I was just like, no, I'm just, I'm just gonna start. So when I was like planning my monk mode protocol, I wasn't like, oh, I'm, am I gonna like this? Is this gonna be okay? I was just like, let's do it. And then, <laughs> and then here I am. That's an unusual way of being. Huh. Ecuadorian. Enneagram. Oh my god. Yes. I feel like I shouldn't reveal mine. Because it's like Enneagram's crazy. Enneagram's crazier than MBTI. Enneagram's too accurate. Scarily accurate. It's, I read Anne my Enneagram and I was like. <laughs> nah. -uh. Nah. -uh. It was all true. <laughs> Unless somebody, I don't know. I feel like if somebody guesses it, I'll just be like, yeah. <laughs> you just go with the flow. Overthinking sucks. Basically, yeah. I do just go with the flow. Why not? <laughs> I've entered the second year of a much more intense monk mode. And let me tell you, it's awesome. Dang. Second year nice i'm a type four and five so like four w five yeah however it's spelled four w five i forgot i didn't memorize enneagram i memorized mbti it's because enneagram scared me by how scarily accurate it was enneagram is um a personality type thing it's 
You could take the test if you want. I'm supporting your type 4. I'm not type 4. <laughs> it's going to be like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then I'm going to say yes on one of them. <laughs> your whole vibe. Thank you. You're a whole vibe. Like, I don't know. <laughs> what rules do you follow for monk mode? Okay, so 30-minute workout every day. 30-minute reading every day. But I think I explained in my update. Like, There have been days I miss the day. And then I like make up for it. And then time block every day. Cold shower. Meditation. It's up there. Why am I, like, trying to remember? <laughs> social media. Like, no social media. So that one's, like, verbatim. It doesn't take me any time. And then two hours working on my business. Which, like, again, I do that thing where I, like, make up for it if I don't do it. Because there have been genuine times. Like, I don't have two hours. <laughs> but, yeah. Listen to the gods. Did you analyze your friends' personalities too? Yes, that's why it was so bad. Because I was, like, analyzing other people. I was like, guys, I think my gym teacher is an ISTJ. Like, oh my goodness. Calm down. Like, it's your gym teacher. He's not, by the way. What would he be? <sighs> my gym teacher's... Oh my goodness. <sighs> He's a complicated man. I do not, not every, no. God, I try to have empathy for him, and I know. He makes so many people mad, me included, that's all. What, what personality type is he, though? He low-key. He gives ISTP. Yeah. <laughs> anyway but and big five personality i've never i've never done big five actually oh oh big five is that like the one where it's like uh neuro whatever oh i forgot like introversion extroversion and then like it's a scale i don't know ignoring type two hmm, six not uh you guys haven't said it yet. What's the highest level of math you completed? I'm guessing at least calculus two. Uh, actually, I switched out recently. Calc two for intro to marketing. And that was really like the cementation of like, I'm going to do this. <laughs> I'm going to do this business or else it's over. So... Okay, but I like talking about this to my friends. I remember doing all the tests with them and discussing it. It was fun times. And I remember I'm an ENT I'm an ENTJ, right? My friend, my best friend was an ISFP. So that means we were polar opposites. And we like argue all the time and I loved it. But Sadly, I think arguing is only a good thing for an ENTJ. I love... I I don't know. Because I thought all... I don't know. <laughs> I miss her. But anyway. <laughs> hey girl, we from the same city. That's crazy, actually. Oop. Dating in 2024? Probably not. I'm like 17. <laughs> I feel like that's such a normal age to date, though. It is. I don't know why I'm using that as an excuse. The real excuse is... I don't think I want to. Like, that's it. <laughs> Wait, you're really a type 3. I am a type 3. How'd you know, Del Taco? Now the question is... 3W2 or 3W4? Okay. <laughs> I did the personality test and got ENTJ. Never knew what it means. Well, 
we're both ENTJ. I don't know. People are just going to tell you, like, you're ruthless and ambitious. And it's like, I'm not ruthless, though. I have empathy. I hate that one of the stereotypes for ENTJ is, like, you have no empathy because... Yes, I do. Stop saying that, bro. Conformity G to society. <laughs> Conformity. Conforming to society is a trap. Always do you. Well, yes. But I also think we have to acknowledge that like society is there. And there are benefits to conforming to society. And there are detriments to not conforming to society to an extent, you know what I mean? It also just depends on, like, what is your society? It's it's all so vague. Like, hmm. I am a WXYZ real. <laughs> ISFP has your same cognitive stack, just different order. Yeah, it's... But it's flipped. So what we did... We did learn a lot from each other. I'm sad she's not in my life anymore. <laughs> Crying on stream. Nice. Type 3. Yeah. 3W4. Nuh-uh. You know the answer now. I'm 3W2. That's crazy. You know what I think is funny? I think it's I think it's like nicknamed the charmer or something. I'm like, what does that mean? And then I read it and then I was like, I don't think this is a good thing anymore. <laughs> World War Three is upon us. What? What do you mean? You're incredibly emotionally articulate for your age. Good on you. I'm I'm actually that actually really touches my soul i i used to be really insecure about that actually like i used to be really insecure about the fact that i don't think i could like understand my emotions or that i didn't pay attention to them or that i didn't have empathy for people because that's what mbi mbti told me like you're gonna struggle with empathy for people you're gonna struggle with emotions and i hate that i like believed that i hate that i put myself in that box like, obviously, you're not supposed to do that, but that's what I did at the end of the day. So I did used to be really insecure about that, about emotions and all things like that. <laughs> the charmer is literally perfect for a cult leader. <laughs> no, 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 no. That was some light Yagami type laughs. I don't want my mom to hear me laugh. <laughs> she's gonna be like, what's going on? And she's gonna walk in and I'm gonna be like, <laughs> I got five. I don't know what five means. Conforming to society could be seen as conforming to degeneracy in a way, I feel. That's how I was not taking it. I was thinking conforming to society in like the good ways, you know? Uh, but it really depends. Some people aren't like that. Yeah, but I get what you mean, like conforming to de degeneracy. I can also see how that, how you got there, but I didn't mean it like that. Hmm. What codes am I listening to? 3W4, you see, we're releasing the cults for the cult membership. <laughs> Did I just wink? Oh my goodness. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Death Note Enjoyer, absolutely. I am absolutely a Death Note Enjoyer. Ethnic background, Hispanic, Guatemala. Okay. <laughs> I also, I always wanted to start a cult great business model. Hello? You know what? Oh, that could be a great business model. <laughs> You're not wrong. Because it's like, you know what? Like, you see, what what's going to happen is that in the year 2050, we're all going to be de descended into... I don't know. I don't know what I'm making up. You see, in the year 2050, 
we're all gonna go to heaven. But only we're going to heaven. Because we know the real prophecy. So all you gotta do to be in my group, to be in, to go to heaven, is to give me all of your finances and all of your houses and all of your children as well. Do not ask why. I just told you why. You will go to heaven if... <laughs> what am I doing? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think sometimes <laughs> we conform to society and lose our true selves in the process because we want others' perception of us to be something we don't even truly want to be. I know this has definitely happened to me. That's why I wanted to go to college. That's why now I don't want to go to college because I feel like just truly it's not for me because i feel like if you want to go to college you want to get a job working for somebody else and that's just not me that just is what it is <laughs> halo effect what is the halo effect i heard you mention it in your new video the halo effect i'd love that i can introduce this to you is the idea that you will be more successful if you look prettier basically or that you get special privileges if you're prettier it's like pretty privilege i don't know if you've heard that but it's such an interesting topic because I think it is real. I think just factually it is, but that's not the only thing that obviously, like, makes you successful. Like, oh, you're pretty? You're going to be successful. Like, it, I think I mentioned in that, like, little voice note, it 100% has to do with your attitude about life as well, though. And I feel like it does stem from attitude. If you have a good attitude, you're going to take care of yourself. And then if you take care of yourself, you're going to look good. And if you look good, you're going to have the halo effect on you, which is going to increase your chances of success. Especially if you have a good attitude and good looks, then it's like you're golden. A lot of people are just going to like you more naturally, I think, if you look good. So it's like... It's kind of... In a way, it could be sad to think about. But I feel like it is just the truth. Potato, potato chip. <gasps> potato. I'll take a potato chip. And eat it. This isn't too political, huh? I'm not hating on Christianity. I was... I grew up Christian. I've said I've, I would raise my children Christian for the values. Who is that voice? I don't know. Look, if we just... I, I was, like, thinking Charles Manson, because that's the only cult leader I know, because you guys have introduced it to me. Oh my goodness, guys. Please stop telling people I'm Asian and that I don't support Asian people. I'm not even Asian. And I do support... Hello? <laughs> oh my goodness. Pastor B. Salvation. Look, here's gonna be here's gonna be the mantra. Believe. <laughs> like, <laughs> <I don't laughs> oh God. Oh. I'm like holding back my laugh. That was such a weird thing. I agree it's real. For some people, the halo effect, yeah. The black pill destroyed your soul. I don't even know all of the black pill mentality things. I'm very uncultured at times. Uh, the values are to not stray away from the faith. Oh. That's true. I guess I am a little bit then. I don't I don't necessarily follow Christianity. It's just that I like the values that it has. I don't know. Anyway. Believe. <laughs> I think Naruto already has it. I've never seen Naruto. Oh my goodness. <laughs> who's, who's that? I don't know. <laughs> Kenneth, who's that? I don't know. Who's Joel? B sounds like a McQueen. Lightning. Lightning McQueen. Ooh. 
<laughs> I search up so many people's names every day because I'm just like, who? I'm also a, a law of attraction type of dude. Real. <laughs> the halo effect is definitely real. An example I can think of is people wanting a serial killer to be freed of their sentence reduced because there are giga chat. <laughs> <laughs> that was such like a well like intellectual paragraph and then it was it just ended off with giga chat <laughs> like <laughs> that just caught me off guard like 100 percent though and we all know the sil the serial killer we're thinking of like that's absolutely crazy <sighs> oh I said I was going to end this 15 minutes ago. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'm going to go now. Uh, I wish you all the best. I hope you all have a good night. Um, I want to close this off as if I'm a radio talk show host. You like jazz? I don't know. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good.